So next, let's draw the influence line for the vertical reaction AY with a concentrated force pointing down, moving across the length of the beam. And as we said before, the first thing we want to do is draw the structure undeformed with the action removed. And when we remove the vertical react at A, what we need is something that can roll and resist to moment. So what that means is you have a roller with kind of a block that doesn't allow rotation. And it's rolling on the wall here. And here's the beam, the cantilever beam. Then we're going to introduce that unit displacement. And this time we're going to introduce a unit displacement as opposed to rotation because we're removing a force and we're going to draw the deflected shape which is again just a rigid body motion. In this case just a rigid body translation which means rigid body means imagine the beam is rigid <laughs> and it moves right. So it's like like robotic. Now again that, that unit displacement you're going to apply in the same direction as you'd as we described the vertical reaction a so in, in, when we drew these reactions out we said a y is pointing upwards and so we apply the unit displacement upwards this deformed shape will just actually be just a straight up the whole beam moves up and so it's just gonna be a straight line like that what's up and the values from geometry which is pretty easy are just one everywhere and so if I want to draw my influence line nice and neat Note I had to find this as x or 0 and then my vertical displacements are, are positive upwards. So my influence line for Ay is just a straight line and this is my x-axis which has units of meters. And all these values are just 1. So next let's draw the influence line for the internal shear Vb and this is where this positive sign convention thing is going to come in play here. So I'm going to follow the same process as I did before. I'm going to remove the action and redraw the structure. And when we remove the shear at point B, which was four meters from the support, that means that we're allowed to go up and down at that point, but we can't rotate. So here, this is how it would look like. It's my fixed support. And then I have I have to have some sort of moment resistance. So I'm going to draw a block, like a large block here. And I need to have wheels because at point B, I got to be allowed to go up and down. And then I'll draw another block because I can't rotate. And now I got to put the, the displacement. I got to apply the displacement or the unit displacement that I need and then draw the deformed shape. And again, this is a shear force, so we're going to apply a unit displacement as opposed to rotation. And this deformed shape, again, is just going to be a rigid body motion. So here, the, the key is, which way do, do, do I need to move at this point? And it, for this internal shear, we're going to apply the motion in the same sense as my positive internal sign convention. So if I were to make a cut here, and I look at the left side of the cut, this point of it needs to go down, and this point needs to go up. And and the relative distance between these two ends must equal 1. If I could, I'd move BC up 0.5 and move BA down 0.5. But I notice that A is fixed, so I can't move BA up or down. Really, all that happens is that segment BC moves up a unit displacement, which means I just have a horizontal line like this. Bam! And this distance right here this distance is equal to 1. And now we're going to calculate values using geometry, which really is a no-brainer. And now we're going to redraw our influence line. And that's my influence line for VB. So last but not least, we want to determine the influence line for the internal moment at point B. And that means redrawing the structure with the action removed. And when we remove a moment from the cantilever beam, it's pretty much like introducing a hinge to it so that at point B, which is right about here, we're going to throw up a hinge which has lengths of 4 meters and 6 meters. And again, here, after we've drawn the the structure with the action removed, we want to go and introduce a rotation, a unit rotation because we're removing a moment. And here we see that these arrows, again, the internal positive moment sign convention helps us determine the directions of rotation. In a perfect world, segment AB would rotate counterclockwise. So it would have a shape that looks like this. And 
segment BC would have a shape that looks like this. The boundary conditions say that point A is fixed and cannot rotate, so segment AB must remain horizontal, and that means segment BC is all that is allowed to rotate. And so our deformed shape will be a unit rotation where segment BC rotates clockwise, bam, like this. The relative rotation between segment AB and BC has to be a unit rotation. So that means that this angle right here, theta, is equal to 1. And now by geometry, we can calculate values. And that would tell us that this point right here, again, from small angle deformations, if I call this y1, this y1 is equal to the length times theta. And that value is going to be 6 meters. And so now I can go ahead and draw my influence line on a nice clean graph, which will look like this. And this value here is negative 6. And this, for the moment, has units of meters, which is, that means that this is going to be that multiplier, negative 6 meters at 10 meters along the position. And you can, you know, work this out linearly. So if I'm, you know, like halfway through here, so at 7 meters, this would be negative 3. And the negative makes sense because here I have an internal positive moment that says compression at the top, tension at the bottom. But whenever I have my concentrated force past point B, I would have an internal moment at point B where I have compression on the bottom and tension at the top, which would be negative according to our sign convention. All right, so hopefully that was helpful and useful. Let me know if you have any questions, if you're down, if you're down, yeah. And if you've been watching this video all the way to the end. All right, see ya.